A non-permissive environment is any place where you can't take a weapon, either because you're not supposed to, because of like laws, or rules, or policies, or security, or whatever circumstances mean it's just hard or maybe impossible to take a real weapon in there. Would it ever be justified or prudent or reasonable or even legal or smart to take a weapon into a place like that? I don't know. I'm going to show you some pretty cool weapons that don't look like weapons and talk about the reasons why you might want to take those someplace. Maybe you have a job that requires you to do something dangerous in a place that there aren't weapons. Maybe you realize that bad guys aren't going to listen to those signs. Or maybe you just, you just really, really want to. What if somebody told you you had to give up like all your weapons? Like no guns allowed, no knives allowed, no weapons allowed. And you're like, all right, fine, let me give up. Let me give it all up. Give up all my weapons. Fine. Give up all my damn weapons. Uh, everything else. <laughs> oh. Every mm. Anytime someone talks to me about non-permissive environments, this is usually my go-to, no secret. I think a flashlight about this big is fairly innocuous. You can carry it a lot of places, but it's not really like a purpose-built weapon. So we're gonna be talking about these purpose-built weapons over here. And are they, do they even make sense? Are these just gimmicks? Is this just mall ninja shit? Is any of this stuff reasonable? Is anything? on here really something that anyone could ever use for any like real purposes. And when I say real purposes, I mean actual self-defense or, and it be legal and justified and sensible. I don't know yet. This is gonna be more about what you think than I think. Now in this video, we're gonna get really close to the line of legality and morality. So it's important that you actually consult your attorney or your local laws or make your own choices about all this. Don't just, take some dipshit on YouTube's word for it. Some of this shit I know is ridiculous and a joke. Like we were, we actually did a review of these uh, cell phone stun guns. These get an F. I'm gonna give everything a letter grade this time around because I got a couple things. Comment if you disagree, but I think the cell phone stun guns get an F. But there's some interesting things that we've gotten recently. This is probably my most favorite. I'm gonna talk about them and and just, I wonder, and I want to see in the comments, like, what's a situation where you would want to carry a weapon that doesn't look like a weapon into a place where you normally wouldn't be able to take a weapon and you're still the good guy? I don't know when that is. So if you know of, what, oh, I don't know of when that would be. So hit the comments down below and let me know what that is. We gotta talk about what type of security we have to defeat and is that ethical. One issue is, I have these things from VZ Grips. They're daggers, but they're not metal. Uh, and I'm gonna link everything down in the description below. These things are pretty sharp, like, and pretty scary. Now, one thing I can say for sure I do know about is there does exist the possibility of undercover law enforcement and special ops units that will be subjected to security. Uh, and having something non-metallic, like they might even go through metal detectors or get wanded. That's a real thing that happens, and there's a real need for weapons that defeat that, but that doesn't apply to most people. It's also the same reason I'm not gonna teach you how to hide stuff from a pat down. If you're getting patted down somewhere, first of all, if you're getting patted down somewhere, you either shouldn't have a weapon or you shouldn't be there. I've, I've gone to places where they pat you down, and I've worked security in places where they pat people down, and like nothing good happened there. Sorry, young people, maybe you're still into that, but if you're going to those places just to drink and have a good time and you probably shouldn't be needing a weapon. But these things are pretty mean. These things are pretty, they're pretty scary. I don't think I could bury this to the hilt in a person, you know, that was also actively fighting back. But applying some pressure to them, like pushing it into their body or into their face or, or like striking at them, like that's definitely a, a mean, mean implement. And it apparently doesn't show up on metal detectors. You know, I had to get the limited edition orange one. This is a Big Daddy Unlimited, like limited edition thing. Uh, I'll put links to everything down in the description below where I got everything. A lot of this stuff you can't just buy on Amazon for obvious reasons. But these get, I wanna say a C. If it, just as a weapon, these get 
uh, you know, a B plus, A minus. They are a dangerous weapon. And while they don't have like a super fine edge on them or anything like that, they make a fine weapon. So if you're just judging based on what it does as a weapon, it, it gets probably an A. But if the purpose is something that I could carry in a place that I wouldn't be able to carry a weapon, I have to give it a C because I, I don't know how practical it is. This one is also from v, VZ Grips and it's a, a, a fucking pencil, but it's not really a pencil. And this tip is probably the sharpest tip on anything I've seen like that. And this is made of that same kind of like a, like a polymer, ow. I just barely, I just barely like did this along it and it hurt. That thing is pretty, pretty mean. And as a deterrent, especially if we're, if we're the non-committed person, person doesn't already have his hands on you and you whip this thing out, he might laugh because it looks like a pencil. But the first time this digs into his hands or something like that, he's gonna be like, yo, what the heck? that's not a pencil and if you're grappled up and clinched up and you really start mashing this thing into his eyeball that's it it probably will be unpleasant he'll probably reconsider what he's doing i give this one a b and i think i would give it a higher grade if they made it look more like a pencil like if you just saw me walking around like this you'd be like that guy's holding a pencil you might be like why is that guy holding a pencil but Close inspection, like if somebody actually pulled it out of your bag or your purse or whatever to check it out, I don't think it, I don't think it passes, because it doesn't. These are probably my most favorite things. These were sent to me from a viewer, his name's Clanton Combatives. I'll put a link to him down in the description below. He, it's like a, just a dude that makes these. Everyone knows what these are. You could get away with having this in a bag or a purse or whatever, and they're actually spikes. They're made of like a, a, like a polycarbonate or polymer type thing. They're, they're a hard, sharp spike. And he's actually got new ones where the spike is the other way. Like you take the cap off and the spike, you hold this part. But this one here, that would hurt in a person's face for sure. That's very, it's, 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 a, uh, it's a pretty sharp spike. I'm like grossed out at the thought of like, dude, what if like, what if you like pushed it through and like, like into the dude's hot and then what if you did that that would fucking suck this is a little milwaukee ink zol and it this one looks the most this one gets the this one passes this one passes a lot of inspections like even if someone took it out of your bag and opened it and looked at it there's no way that they would think this is anything other than a fine point marker but it's not, it's a spike. You could, you spike the shit out of somebody with it and it's pretty durable. I'm not sure what it's made of. You should go check that guy out. This one's funny. I'm gonna get into this here in a second. This is probably my, my least favorite, but it's the, the funniest one to me. If we're to the point where we're lying about whether or not something is a weapon, we've probably stepped over where we're still the good guy. Now, we gotta differentiate between following the laws and following a place's rules. A lot of people get those two things confused. Sometimes stores and, and things like that will try to enforce their policies as the law. Sometimes people will confuse the law for a store's policy. You can't get caught up in that. If there's no law against a concealed weapon where you live, which I'm lucky where I live, there's like barely any laws against anything. I forgot this one right here. A lot of people be like, oh, a cane is a great self-defense weapon because I can carry it anywhere and no one can tell me I can't have it and no one's even allowed by law to ask me what it's for. First of all, the, the ADA is like one of the most misunderstood sets of laws that there is. But if we are lying about whether or not something's a weapon, we, we are venturing not just into uh, moral quandaries, but also like legal troubles because while there might not be a law against carrying a weapon somewhere, if someone tells you no weapons allowed here or you're not allowed to bring weapons in here, you could still be technically like trespassing. You know what I mean? You could technically be trespassing if a person has made it clear that people with weapons are not welcome and you take a weapon, the case could be made that you are trespassing. Now there's not a ton of anything really to support that. That's, I'm not a lawyer. You should consult your laws and where you are and lawyers who understand the laws where you are and all the relevant case law. 
Better be judged by 12 than carried by six. I would rather be neither. Did I give the cane a grade, Maddox? No, you did not give the cane or... Um... The cane gets a, 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 a C for cool. <laughs> I don't think that this is practical. I would look silly walking around like this in skinny jeans <laughs> and a hoodie, like just walking like this. Like I couldn't really carry this around and no one go like, oh, that dude's clearly carrying around a cane as a weapon. And they'd probably even guess that it had this big old spike in it. This is the Cold Steel one. I got this off Big Daddy Unlimited as well. Cold Steel stuff is getting scarce, but you can still find a lot of it on Big Daddy. Um, it's not a sword though. Like it's not a, it's not a sword. Don't try this at home. It's just a spike. Now it's a pretty mean spike. I'd probably it'd rather have some edge to it too. I'd like a little good little short little edged weapon about this big that goes in a cane. I think that would be cool. This belt actually, the belt itself, oh, <laughs> I forgot my tactical spork. That's where that <laughs> spork went. <laughs> this belt kind of sucks. This belt is not a cool belt. It's not a good belt, uh, but it, it, it has a little hidden surprise. It's, I'm not gonna use it as a weapon like this. Like I'm like, uh, you know, this a lot of people will say that. I call that more improvised weapon. This is not a good belt. It's made by Guard Dog. Guard Dog, which they make one of those, they make goofy stuff like this. Like they made that cell phone stun gun and they make those little baton flashlight things. It's the lamest little, just this little hole in here. That's how, and then just that. And it just hooks into that. If I hurt myself with anything in this video, it's gonna be this one. Because I don't remember how this one works. I think if you're gonna make something into another thing, it needs to be the first thing that it is good too, which is the, very intelligent type of reviewing that you've come to this channel for. <laughs> this is a, uh, I'm scared. I'm gonna, I don't remember. Yeah, it's a knife. It's a, it's a belt knife. It's, look at this thing. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty stout little thick piece of metal. I don't know what it's made of. It's probably some garbage steel. Some guy's gonna be like, yeah, it's not type 5110 Nemodium alloy, like such and such a knife from this brand. Yeah, it's probably a shitty knife, but you know what it is? It's a knife that you could theoretically take a place that you couldn't normally take a knife. The way it works, the sheath is hidden in this little shitty nylon belt. This is a really crappy like Walmart belt like your mom got you when you were nine. It goes in there and it's just that one little hook. That's my problem with it is that crappy hook, which makes it a crappy belt anyway. But this is, out of all of them, this is the one that wouldn't, besides being a shitty belt, interfere, I'm a belt snob, I'm sorry. It wouldn't interfere with your regular everyday life. You know, you could just get that thing and do like that, and stick that in them. This one, I don't know. What do you, it might have a bottle opener on it. I don't know whether that's a bottle opener or not. What do you give it, Maddox? What do you give that letter grade? Um, C plus. A C plus? Maddox gives it a C plus. I give it probably a D, maybe. These, I think, are the, the coolest. This stuff right here, I think, are the, the most useful as far as weapons go because of how they, how they fit in your hand. You've got a little more purchase on them. You could actually hold on to them pretty well. The pencil from VZ Grips is okay. It works pretty good. It actually is a little stouter than I expected it to be when I ordered it, but it just doesn't, it doesn't look enough like a pencil for me for it to be a sneaky thing. The daggers, the VZ Grips daggers, I, I like them as weapons. They are cool. And if they're legal for you to own, they're a cool piece. Like if you're into this stuff, they just, they have too many bad guy connotations for me, for me to recommend them unless A, you're just, you like collecting shit like this or you have some specific need where it would be legal and moral and prudent for you to try to defeat metal detectors but you're but you're still the good guy i just don't know when that is i can't think there's a lot of scenarios where it might not be technically allowed by policy for you to take a weapon somewhere but maybe that doesn't make it illegal it could theoretically not be illegal for you to do that. You would have to be absolutely sure based on your local laws here's one unless you're a clumsy oaf that very often cuts yourself or hurts yourself 
and you wanted a good stout weapon that was harder to injure yourself with, which that would be this. That I can make a good case for that. If you want to carry a dagger, but you're afraid of something that's actually a blade, this might be for you. I know that sounds silly because you're probably a, a super ninja expert with the stuff, but for me specifically, that sounds like a, a good idea sometimes. So yeah, this one's more about what you have to say than I have to say because I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Like I don't know if you can carry this stuff and still be a good guy. Or hell, maybe you were a bad guy. Maybe you're a thug piece of shit and I just helped you, I just helped make your job easier. So if you're a thug piece of shit, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so I can inadvertently help you in the future.